Welcome to another Open Horizons video. Um, this is an SAT question that did you know that only one in five students get this SAT question right? So now let's see if you can. Um, we'll start solving this question. So it's a good practice to rewrite the question just to make sure that you've got all the details right. So we've got x plus two times x minus three. So we're trying to convert this into a quadratic. So let's multiply x times x, which is going to lead us with x squared, then x times negative 3, which leads us with negative 3x. After that, we multiply from the other term, so 2 times x which is positive 2x. These are the like terms we're going to combine. But now we multiply 2 times negative 3, which now leads us with negative 6. So we combine the like terms, as you can see right here. So now we're left with x squared minus x due to negative 3 plus 2, then minus 6. So we're looking for what b is, and b is negative 1. So the correct answer is, you guessed it, negative 1, which is right here. So all you had to do was expand, then combine the like terms, and you get the answer, which, is, which the answer is B. Most people overthink this, but it's just basic distribution and combining the like terms. I also wanted to add on that not everyone can afford $200 an hour tutors, which is why we've started Open Horizons, a free and low-cost study platform built for students who need it most. So um, go in the link in the description.